Okay, this is the CC1 Unit 4 review. Um, the first question says, given the figures at the right, determine if they are similar. Make sure to check all sides. Okay, so first of all, we need to figure out um, our corresponding sides. So looking at these two figures, we're going to be looking at those two sides. I'm going to highlight. We're going to be looking at those two sides, the bases, and our two small sides, making sure that we're always looking at the correct sides. Okay, so the first one, um, I'm going to go new on top, old on the bottom. So we have six to four. And we can simplify by dividing by 2, where I get 3 over 2. Okay. okay, our next side is also 6 to 4, and that's also going to be 3 over 2. Um, our green sides are 9 to 6 which I can simplify each side by dividing by 3. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we also have 3 over 2. And then the last side, the red side, is actually 3 over 2. So looking at those four ratios, They are all the same. So yes, they are similar. The second one says, are these two expressions equivalent? Show how you found your answer. Well, I'd like to pick a number for my variable and plug it in to check. And I like to pick 0, 1, or 2 because I know those are easy. I'm going to pick um, 0. So I'm going to start here. Anytime I see z, I'm going to plug in 0. So this is going to become 0 plus 2 plus 0 plus 3 plus 0 plus 4 plus 0. Okay. So really, we have 2 plus 3 plus 4. 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 4 is 9. This one... This is 3 times z, or 3 times 0 plus 8. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 8 is 8. Are they equivalent? No, 9 does not equal 8. Alright, if h represents Froggy's hip-hop jump, write the algebraic expression for two hip-hop jumps and a jump of 10. Well, we have two H's, because we have two hip-hop jumps, so H plus H, and then a jump of 10. So I have H plus H plus 10, or 2H plus 10. Make that look nicer. All right. Use order of operations to simplify, starting with A. Okay, I'm going to look first and see, do I have any parentheses? Okay, well, I do have parentheses. I have 4 plus 5 in parentheses. So this is going to become 10 minus 2 plus 3, and then inside the parentheses, I have 9. I don't have any exponents. The next thing would be multiplication or division. The only multiplication that I have is that 3 times 9, so I need to do that first. 3 times 9 is 27. And then I'm looking for addition and subtraction. Um, so I need to go left to right. So 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 plus 27 would be 35.
I'm going to do the same thing over here. 5 times 4 is 20. Plus 6 minus 2. I just have addition and subtraction left, so I'm going left to right. 20 plus 6 is 26. Minus 2 is 24. All right, complete the following portion web. Okay, I have the fraction, and I want to make it out of 100. I know if I multiply 10 by 10, I get 100. 1 times 10 is 10. So I have to write this first. 1 tenth, I just write what I say, how I say the fraction. 10 out of 100 is percent and then I start to think about um, my place value I have zero in the one I can look at my words here and I see I have one in the tenths place there is my decimal all right adding the fractions I'm going to use a giant one um, I know that 5 goes into 10, so I really only need to change this one fraction. I'm going to change 1 fifth so that I have a fraction out of 10. 5 times 2 is 10. Two, 1 times 2 is 2. So I'm going to take 6 tenths and add 2 tenths. 6 plus 2 is 8. I leave my denominators the same. 8 tenths is my answer, but I can also simplify. I'm going to divide both of those by 2, and I get 4 fifths. Last one. The, the circle is divided into equal parts. Write the value of one of the parts of the fraction, or er, of the spinner as a fraction, decimal percent. Okay, well I have five parts total, so one of those would be one fifth. I'm going to use my giant 1 to get it out of 100. 5 times 20 is 100. 1 times 20 is 20. My decimal is 0.2, and my percent is 20%. Okay, now the second one is write the probability of spinning a shape with four sides as a fraction, decimal, and percent. So I'm going to look and see which shapes have four sides. Okay, this one. This one this one, and this one. How many did I shade in? Four out of five. Again, I'm going to multiply by 20. And I get 80 over 100. 0.8, sorry about the bell, and 80%. All right, there we go. That is our unit for review.